Welcome back again, you beautiful people, to another episode of Shisha Saturdays. Today I am here in Habibi, here in Makati, with Arash, one of the bosses here, actually, right? I hope not. <laughs> so, uh, to get this started, you know, before we talk about the Shisha, let's talk about the place first. And uh, to do that, Arash will, you know, go through the whole place, what's it about, and why you guys should go here. So, please, Arash, take the mic. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Habibi. This space was like open uh, a year and a half ago, so we just renovated the pool place. The difference between this uh, shisha place and a lot of other places is we have a sophisticated mechanical exhaust system that you could easily find above you. It eliminates the volatile organic compounds uh, coming from the shisha units. Yeah. And we also have two uh, floor mounted uh, ionizers plus a centralized ionizer in the middle of the whole space. Yeah, eliminating what I've said, uh, the VOCs, and tightening the indoor air quality of the space. Yeah. Like I noticed, like if, even if I've been smoking shisha, a lot of people have been smoking shisha here. You can't see any like fog or anything. It's because of that. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. This started out in 2004, but the same uh, group of companies actually started out in 1985. So this is a subsidiary of uh, the Hussein group of restaurants. She shops in Sanderini. Yeah, yeah, certainly, yeah, correct. So uh, we are only the shisha place in Makati that has and houses like eight brands. Uh, you see in their menu, that that's, they have a lot of shishas and even here you see in the wall behind us or behind uh, Arash, they have Starbuzz, Ugly, Starbuzz Vintage, Black Lava, Al Fakr, Al Fakama, even, uh, what else do we have? Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and try. Oh yeah, sorry, Tarifect as well, and all just lovely, lovely shisha flavors. I love all of them actually, and I I haven't tried all of them yet, but you know, at least this place is a good place for me to try each and every one of them before I go buy a whole pack of one, of one. And uh, anything else you want to say for this place? Uh, that's about it. Our menu is less intense of what we have in Hossein's upstairs because here it's a. Uh, Less food because it's all about the shisha yeah. basically. But then again, we still have the specialty sandwiches that Hussein's actually offers. Yeah. And also have all the kebabs that we have and appetizers and things like that. And we have a vast collection of uh, liquors. You can see here at the backside, they have a lot of you know prepare, preparation ready for the uh, shishas itself. They have a lot of these regal, even right now we're using a regal hookah. They have a lot of regal hookahs on standby just to use for customers here and even the bowls that they have. All top quality, all top notch. The place is located in uh, Magati Avenue uh, near Burgos. I guess you can always, you know, use Grab or Waze or whatever just to find the place. It's for sure it's on the map. It's a good place to be, and you know, a lot of shisha right now. And talking about the shisha, we should probably talk about the shisha now. So if you want, you want to try it. All right. And uh, oh yeah, before that, uh, tell us, uh, Rash, what's your experience? What's your hooker experience? The thing I, I don't usually uh, like. I haven't done shisha a lot, like, but then again, I'm just new, like, uh, in using shisha. So, like, in terms of experience, I have the least experience. But then again, uh, like, as long as you use like uh, top-notch yeah. quality shishas, you'll you'll really love it. Yeah. So at least right now, what we can see here is, you know, what whatever Arash will talk about in the shisha is what you know any new person. I won't say newbie, but like a beginner would experience for themselves in a shisha, and especially now that we have high-quality equipment of course it's gonna be a beautiful experience so just to talk about the uh, equipment that we have right now again we have a regal queen here very very beautiful if you already seen it in another video of mine but again here we're gonna talk about how it's gonna work especially for someone like Arash maybe he has some opinions on how it how it smokes if it smokes better than some other shishas that you tried in the past and we also have here a hookah John 80 feet 80 bowl with a razor HMD and under, of course, inside the bowl, we have a uh, actually a special flavor here. So they have Persian root beer here, special cocktail, you know, can't find it anywhere else. And, you know, I've been smoking, as, as, as you know, he's been talking since earlier and I've been smoking it and it, it really does taste like root beer. I don't know what Persian root beer tastes like specifically, but for sure it tastes like root beer. It has that strong taste to it. Well, not that strong, actually, like uh, it's a good mellow taste again, because I'm the type of person who likes strong flavors, but this is really good, actually. And why don't you start smoking, man? So you can uh, talk about it. Go ahead, smoke, and then I'll give you the mic after. <laughs> As you can see, you, since he's not that used to smoking shisha, he's doing a small smoke. Yeah, so pretty. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like uh, there's a 
certain taste of uh, like root beer. I don't know if you have ever tried A and W root beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's somewhat the same in terms of like taste and stuff. It's not too heavy. It's like yeah, for a guy like myself who actually doesn't do shisha a lot, yeah. it, uh, it doesn't like it's not an over like powering taste. Well, how about the, uh, the 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 hookah itself? You know, you've tried other hookahs before. Do you notice any difference, or have you always tried top quality hookahs? No, because uh, uh, so when I was staying in Sydney, they have this uh, not as sophisticated equipment as this one here. So like, uh, but there's a big difference. So let me just give one puff here and see if uh, my opinions change. Yeah. But if you want, you can say something while I'm smoking it. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. So as you see here, actually, one uh, significant thing you might see if uh, if you've been smoking shisha a lot is that we're using actually a disposable uh, hose here, and the fun part about this is that even if it's a disposable hose, it's not ruining the experience at all. Like the uh, Regal Queen is taking all of the uh, brunt of the work. It's it's giving a lot of you know ease again to the uh, to the inhale part. <laughs> to say that to the draw, yeah, to the draw, and. Uh, the flavor also, the flavor for me, it's kind of like in the middle to a light flavor. Uh, I think we have been smoking this, you know, before the video started, I was smoking it for about 30 minutes already. So uh, it goes up and down, but right now it's on the mellower side. And, uh, you know, at least for some people, they like a transforming kind of flavor. So at least this, it, it's not consistently heavy or strong or like that. It, it was heavy at first and then now it got a little lighter, but at least the flavor is still there. It's uh, for me. I think. I mean, uh, how do you say this? For me, you you can say it's more of like a refreshing taste. Yeah, which is actually even better than normal root beer because I think root beer is type like when you drink it, like you want to burp or like you feel a lot of uh, carbonation with it. But with this, it's it has the taste, but it has also a uh, a again a refreshing feel to it, and that's. That's something that you know you you don't get with a lot of uh, shishas, especially with when you mix them with this secret cocktail mix that they have. It's not it's pretty hard to uh, to replicate such a feeling because uh, I've been trying to mix myself and uh, let me tell you it's a pretty pretty hard job. Well, if, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, they also have here a uh, a cage for the hookah, so that, you know when you hit it, it's not gonna fall off that easily. Which is a smart thing to do. I don't know if a lot of uh, shisha places have this. I, I've, I've been to quite a few, and I don't. I've never seen anything like that before, and that's good. Our staff has been uh, like uh, making sh uh, what do you call the the top uh, tobaccos and everything else inside for about since 2004. Oh wow! Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them. Uh, 14 years of experience. 14 years of experience. And uh, like some of them actually came from like Dubai and then others came from like Saudi. And once they got here, uh, they brought all their knowledge from like before and then actually like implemented here in our shisha place. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Again, you know, I, I think that already takes, it's good because it takes a lot of, you know, training away from them. You, they already know the stuff that they do. And ex that explains a lot on why, you know, we can appreciate the, the good quality. I mean, Sometimes what the the bad thing about good quality shisha is, it's hard to you know uh, turn into a good experience. I mean, if someone like me, maybe like three years ago, got like a black love or a, a Starbucks vintage, I wouldn't have known how to pack it properly and you know prepare it properly, and it would have sucked. <laughs> but right now, you know, with all the experience that I have and especially like your staff has, it's a good thing that they uh, they they know what to do. Yeah. So that they can, you know, they can make the best out of the shisha that you guys have here. Again, guys, if you, uh, you know, like this video, like the experience, if you want to try it, of course, go here in Makati in Habibi. Where's the exact address again? It's in uh, Makati Avenue near, uh, in front of Burgos Street. And uh, you could easily find us uh, on the ground floor of uh, the LKV building. And then up right above us is uh, the Hussein uh, restaurant. Okay, so you, you, it's hard to miss. There's a Hossein building, uh, there's a Hossein restaurant on top. And then on the bottom, it actually also has the sign of uh, Hossein and Abibi. Yeah. So it's hard to miss. And especially if you're here in Makati, it's a good place to, you know, to hang out, 
to be with your friends, even if I'm just with a rusher. But I know it's a nice friend to make in a, when I make videos like this. So, uh, but that's about it. I mean, again, if you guys like this, come here and enjoy some shisha. And on my part, if you like this video, hit like down below. It's just a thumbs up button. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe for more Shisha Saturday videos. And comment below, of course, if you have any opinions, thoughts, if you've been here before, or if you've been here like a year and a half ago, right? Yeah. If you've been here a year and a half ago and you know you want you are excited to come back here, comment down below what do you what do you think about Habibi? And of course, no hit that notification bell so you can be notified on future videos of mine. And last but not the least, especially share this video to all of your beautiful friends. Just like you, you're all beautiful. So that's about it. And goodbye. <laughs> Ingat kayo. Check out the uh, Karsis videos Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays for Tuesday's thoughts and uh, Fridays for for trip Fridays. So yeah, take care.